All right, these are the A-pillar external limo like covers, but uh, it'll beef up this whole area because when it gets there, it's going to be pretty thin. Now, this line here versus this line here is perfectly perpendicular. Um, 3 sixteenths actually, actually fills the uh, corner pretty good. Down here fills it a little tighter, but not bad. Um, I've got to grind that corner a little bit so we can get it in there. But these, the boxes, the holes, the square holes are made a little bigger so that the 2x2 two two fits in there. And uh, these are going to bolt on from be behind. And of course come out these same holes, top and bottom. And I made a couple extras. Um, and everything's going to be adjusted in the door, not on the post. Doing it on the post is a pain in the ass. There's no other way to put it. But uh, I'm going to work on getting this to seat better. I'm going to grind a little uh, bevel on that corner and tap it underneath. I mean, it's a damn good fit if you consider I only get about an inch that doesn't want to go in. Um, there's also an extra hole where there's a nut and bolt, the one that holds the dash, and I put it there because I was there. We'll see if we can use it or not. If not, I'll move it up, move it down, make it bigger, whatever it takes. See a little gap. Alright, so I'm going to mess with these. i got like a few hours before I even go to work, so... It's kind of chilly out today, um, so I can't really do anything on the B, the uh, B pillars. I keep calling these B pillars. This is an A pillar. This is a B pillar. Okay, let's get on it. All of the uh, well, the two surface plates are bolted in. Three eighths holes. There's two, four, five of them, top to bottom. And you don't do one side; you do both sides. Of course, I can't do the bottom one because the post hasn't been jacked up yet to line up the door but it's in there in the same spot I was using this quarter inch hole as a, a reference point and that's what holds the plates identical left and right but it's time to go to work I feel like I never leave some days you know what I mean looks good real beefy but uh, these holes are going to be cut out and that other plate goes behind it all and the hinges will be bolted in from the back nothing crazy like I said, there's going to be no adjustments here whatsoever. It's all going to be, you know, a tilt and bow and aft and in and out and all that stuff. It's going to be controlled by two plates that are in the door. Um, it's pretty simple. And I based them on the bottom edge of this, on the bottom edge of the slot, on the original sheet metal on the body panel. Don't worry about that because that's going to be a little weld spot when I'm done. Um, I also have to, this little bump area here. That's where the hinge has to go. If you notice, the body turns in almost instantly, and I only have X amount of room to get a hinge in there. And it's on the inside, and it's on this side, so when it hinges out, it does that twist, you know? So this side's got plenty of room, but this one's really tight. That's why I had to go in a little further. But it fits. I'm not worried about it. it. looks really good. All right, well, here's my hinge boxes. I had to make a little cut in the corner so they could clear you know the inside of the curve of the firewall um, I'm not going to use these hinges I might we'll see but I might make something beefier or I might use the boxes from these but um, either way I still got to get it to fit in there now I would think that it would be a problem getting the top one in because the body curves real sharp amazingly enough this drops right in um, that's about how much room I have if I don't grind that the head of that bolt off I can't get this in there even to test it but that's going to be my center line for the pins um, putting it on the bottom one is the one where it hits and that's a little weird I mean it's that close and it's hitting on the bottom corner of this hinge right here now like I said I probably won't even be using these hinges because they're paper thin I could use the bushings and the circles and all that stuff but if I weld these things they're going to melt anyway because they got a, a nylon bushing right here but this is the idea even though it kind of doesn't fit in there with that one that's my inside uh, hidden hinge and they're homemade and they'll work I just have to clean all this area right here I gotta cut all that out here and here which that's 3 sixteenths pretty thick but these are 3 sixteenths also I don't want to slice in and then slice down and slice over I'd rather cut the box so that way I don't lose the layers I've built up here I mean this thing's gonna be super strong but it's better than wood but there's my little hinge. I do have some L brackets I can put in here. They're right here. If I can hold the damn thing straight. 
I mean, I mean these aren't cut. These are just you know, test fits. And that's how it would go. It would swing out like that. Hard to do it one hand. But you get the idea. It would, it would be like this. And swing out that way. We're trying to hold a sponge with one hand. Like that. But I gotta get these to fit in here first. And I'm gonna do both at the same time. I'm not gonna do one and then try and go do the other. That's your best bet. Get them, get them both done in one shot. And uh, that way you're not messing with this one, having a problem here, making a change, and then going, what did I do in the last one when you get over here? But I'm having fun. Um, i got to make something on well, my internal plates. It's actually three layers of 3 sixteenths. The big one, which is the surface. The middle one, which was the original, which I don't want to cut out because then I'll lose my support down here as far as I raise the whole firewall up and stuff. Um, the inside one, is, I noticed the plate is only an eighth inch off the top of the uh, floor pan tube. Um, if I can figure out that gap, then I can cut that weld over there and raise this side up and set it to the same angle. <clears throat> but again, this weld is something that on that side hasn't been done. And uh, I have to align the body lines to do that first. Because if I plug weld it like I did this side and it's wrong, you're screwed. I have to cut that whole corner out and just say, oh, it's thought over. But I have to cut these boxes out. It's Friday. I'm working because it's pure overtime. <coughs> I get about 20 minutes and I'm out of here. I really haven't even been out here 10 minutes and I'm already messing with the boxes. i got to trim all the others down to look like that. I'm going to sandblast them. Possibly, like I said, use my internal plates or just use the ends and make an inverted box. We'll see. I really like these, but that was a failure. Failure! It's amazing how uh, how much the word fail gets hits on YouTube. It's like what people look for. Yeah, these are much more beefier, but I have to reverse it and flip it and get it to fit inside. Whatever I do, it's got to be lower than this, the surface of this, otherwise it's not going to work. Okay, I'm going to work, man. Have a good day.